Hey, this is Vaughn. We're going to do another video from my Prius. And we're going to upgrade my dash cam to this model. And use a new radar detector clip that goes onto my visor. I can no longer recommend a Zocco uh, DL12. It's rebooting every now and again. It'll go in these reboot loops. And I went out to their website and they don't even acknowledge the product anymore. But this is also a strap-on. And when you take the size of the original mirror plus this, that's a lot of weight. And it causes uh, little, you know, vibrations when you're going down the road. And it's kind of annoying. So this new one is a direct mirror replacement. And you can see me hanging that radar detector there just added weight to the mirror and I don't think helped the issue. Plus it's a little gaudy and could attract attention to the car from thieves. And it's starting to wear out. And as, you know, again, the vibrations as I go down the road, pretty soon it's facing like that and it's annoying. So we're going to try this clip. All right, so you see plenty of unboxing videos all the time, so I'm just going to skip through that and open her up. All right, so I got everything I'm going to use here, and for the initial testing, I'll use the rubber straps over here. Um, and then it has a replacement arm, and if I like the unit enough, I'll go ahead and install this. Now, this clip was a little too big, and I had to wedge some napkins in there which maybe I'll come up with something cleaner and it's a little annoying. I mean, this is like plastic, so you can't really adjust it. It'll break if you do that, but it is holds pretty firm. We'll give it a try. You know, now in my vision, it's above the mirror instead of below it. I think it's more stealthy. I like it. We we'll just see if it uh, picks up GPS satellites. For my four channel DVR system, I've mounted its front camera here, and then the uh, dash cam's camera was here. So I actually had two fronts. But losing this arm, uh, I'm going to have to find another home for that. But now i got to figure out how to get this uh, entire mirror off. Another little pain is the DL12 from Masako. It had the USB micro plug on it, and I'm trying to eliminate these from my life and get everything on USB-C. So the new mirror, USB-C power. Problem is, I can't just slap the mirror up there. I'm going to have to rerun this whole USB cable. And speaking of running a new USB-C cable, one of my old videos, I said two plugs was enough. Well, it's not. It never is. So I got high power charger here with a cable I can splice and run to my breaker panel. And look at that. That gives me six fast charging USB devices. So I'm also going to put this in to power the new dash cam. Anyway, I cut the cord off and then I, I plugged it into my cigarette lighter and hooked it up to the meter just to make sure that it wasn't stepping down the voltage or had some kind of reverse polarity. So I'll go ahead and plug her in now. So this is what we're going to be replacing. Get rid of that old uh, cigarette lighter adapter and a mirror two USBs. And then we'll replace it with that bad boy. And that's just going to, you know, give up its spot in the um, Wagyu connector there. And I'll just replace it with this new cable. So everything has a home. Well, with it all wired in, it just tucks right in behind the plastic panel. And then, you know, a little wire tie to keep the wires so. Uh, which will help support it a little bit and the USB ports in the front. Pretty easy enough to reach down and plug something in. So I got the four channel camera mounted, just kind of zip tied with a piece of Velcro onto the new arm. And so there's the dual cameras in front like before. Give you a peek at the back cameras for once. The back two cameras. I just have tape to the window and then I have some little clips to hold the wires because everything's temporary. 
uh, and I don't want to tear the molding off two and three times. So that's how I do my side cameras. I use that stupid little worthless window, and this one here I leave blacked out all the time. Let me pull. Let's see if I can pull it down for you. So. From the outside, it's black with a cutout, so uh, through the tinted windows, you can't really see it. And I use a metal L bracket to adjust its position and kind of keep it there. And then the camera slightly adjusts the bullet itself. So there's your front view on the dash cam camera. And then there is the front view from the four channel. And look, I'm working on all the cameras. They're all a little loose right now, but anyway. It comes out pretty nice. This one shows my speedometer and the such where the uh, mirror one, I can basically submit footage with or without depending on whether it favors me. <laughs> Some last quick views. That silver connector for that camera, I really need to take care of that. But other than that, you can't see much. It's so dirty, but there's a side camera. And like I said, it's just all blacked out. You can't see anything. I think if I'm going down the street, from behind, you could see the outlines of those cameras, but in stealth parking, nah. Them damn defroster lines, I got it right in the middle of the camera. But anyway, that's it guys, thanks for looking.